Now we're going to be talking about how to run the i5 on your off the keypad. We're going to change the control source setting, the speed source setting, and the running enabled setting. Right now, the default settings is that it's in remote and auto mode. Remote means you're starting the drive using the I.O. Auto mode means you're controlling the speed off the I.O. We're going to change both of those today. We're going to hit the end button to go into the parameters. You're going to see group zero. Hit the up button twice to go to group two. That's going to be your basic setup. Hit enter. You can see parameter 200. 200 is your control source setup. You can hit enter. Right now it's in flex control. We're going to change that to keypad. So hit the up arrow button and hit enter. You should go back to the parameter 200 menu. Now we're going to go to parameter 201, which is your speed source. Hit the up arrow button. Hit enter. Sub 001 is your frequency set point. Hit enter. Right now it's running off the analog input. We're going to change that to keypad. So we're going to hit the down arrow button. Now it's at keypad. We hit enter. Now we're going to hit the back button twice to go back into the groups. And as you can see, right now it's in local mode, which means you're starting the drive using the keypad. In manual mode, you're controlling the speed using the keypad up and down arrow keys. Now we're going to hit up twice to go to group 4, which is your I.O. setup. Hit enter. You can go to parameter 400, which is your function list. Hit enter. You can go to sub 002, which is your running enable. Hit enter. Right now it's tied to digital input 1, but we want to control the drive without any jumpers. So we're going to set this to true. So you hit the down arrow button, hit enter. And this time when you hit enter, you're going to hold the end button. So it saves all the settings that you changed before. You can hit back, back, and back one more time. Now you can start the drive using the run button. The default is 20 hertz, and you can use the up and down arrow keys to vary the speed of the motor. And you can hit the red button to stop your motor. And that's how you run the i500 off the keypad. Thank you.